take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, breathe in a resourceful feeling of calm and relaxation. And as you exhale, feel a wonderful feeling of releasing whatever needs to be released. As you breathe in, imagine breathing in a bright, vibrant color that represents resourcefulness, fulfillment, maybe a bright yellow, orange, pink or purple. As you breathe it in, imagine it as a combination of bright light, but almost like an energy that can move through space and time as you breathe in that bright, vibrant color of resourceful relaxation. Imagine a wonderful feeling of relaxation as it goes in through your nose, down your windpipe, into your lungs, giving you a sense of that drowsiness which is pleasant. Not fatigue, not tiredness, but a cozy drowsiness. The kind of feeling you might have just moments before drifting off into a deep sleep. Use the power of your imagination to imagine that bright color there in your lungs and imagine your heart taking that energy of resourceful relaxation and distributing it to every cell in your body just as it does with oxygen. Breathing in and breathing out. Your body knows how to breathe in oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide without you having to think about it. So I want you to imagine that here in this moment you're breathing in a resourceful feeling of relaxation and in the outward breath in addition to that carbon dioxide or any feelings of tension, stress, anxiety or worries just feel them leave your body in that outward breath and maybe you could imagine a darker colour Perhaps grey, black, dark shadowy sensations, leaving your body in that outward breath. And on the next inward breath in, feel that bright, vibrant colour of resourceful relaxation, giving you more of what you need and enabling your body to release what it doesn't. Because it's resourceful relaxation, every breath you take helps you feel deeper and deeper relaxed. Eyelids feeling relaxed and heavy. Any tension in your neck and shoulders seems to be melting away. And perhaps you could imagine time when you had the most enjoyable yawn, the kind of yawn that at the very point released that pent up tension and in the exhale connected to that yawn led you to feeling perhaps twice or three times as relaxed as a few seconds before. And the great thing about yawning is that even the idea of yawning still makes you feel relaxed. Maybe you can picture someone you know having an enjoyable yawn as it activates those mirror neurons, creating a wonderful feeling of relaxation just by observing someone seeming to feel more relaxed with a good yawn. I want you to imagine 
seeing an old photo of you on a beach in the Maldives. I want you to see a picture of you on that beach looking happy, fulfilled, relaxed, a sense of feeling special, of feeling deserving. Maybe there's even an expression of love. And when you can observe that version of you in that picture on a beach in the Maldives, let me know by nodding your head. I want you to imagine what it would be like to drift into the photo, to feel that you're going through space and time towards this beach. But instead of seeing yourself on the beach, imagine stepping into that version of you and feeling what it would feel like to be on that beach. You can imagine wearing whatever clothing is appropriate for that beach. Maybe the same clothing you saw you wearing in that photo. Feel the warmth of the sun on your skin. Perhaps the sand there under your toes. Maybe there's a gentle breeze. Imagine staring out towards the sea. Maybe there's a stillness to the water, maybe gentle waves. And feel that your mind is becoming calm just like those surface of the sea. And maybe nearby you could imagine seeing a hammock between two palm trees. And just imagine that that's what your jaw feels like. A loose hammock between two palm trees, no tension, no need. Breathing in and breathing out fully relaxed. And I want you to imagine what it would be like to walk to that hammock, place yourself in the hammock, closing your eyes, knowing that you're on that beach, under the sunshine, hearing the gentle breaking of the waves. As I count down from five to one, I want you to imagine what it would feel like to feel so relaxed. You imagine drifting off into a dreamlike sleep there in that hammock on that beach, feeling a wonderful feeling of relaxation. Five, just releasing any tension around your forehead, around your eyebrows. Just release it, let it go. Four, all the muscles in your face now going into your neck and your shoulders, just feel that that can be released too. Melting away all that tension. It's not needed here in your imagination. And then three, just feel your arms and legs are feeling so limp, loose and heavy. No energy at all. They can just rest by your side. As you feel wonderfully relaxed there on that hammock, on that beach. Within your imagination. And then two, focus on your internal organs. Allow your lungs, stomach, heart, diaphragm, all the way into your gut to just completely relax. Feel the relaxation. Notice that it's easier, almost effortless to breathe deeper than ever before. The deeper you breathe, the deeper relaxed you go. And the deeper relaxed you go, the more you activate what we can call the interface to your unconscious Maybe you think of that as your imagination. As your body relaxes, your imagination awakens. And then imagine one, your whole body feeling wonderfully relaxed there on that hammock that you can drift off into a dreamlike sleep. And in that dreamlike sleep, I want you to imagine that you're watching you in the present one week from now with a different relationship to food 
just imagine that you're like an invisible entity watching your every move, but see you a week from now behaving differently. Stress at work seems to have less impact. You seem less bored. You seem more fulfilled. More choices, more empowered. And just imagine you continue watching yourself occasionally jumping into that future version of you feeling how it would feel to feel this way in your future. Allow yourself effort, effortlessly to switch from first person to third person perspectives back and forth sometimes seeing yourself as someone else sometimes feeling like that future version of you but with a different relationship with your emotions and food breathing in breathing out feeling wonderfully relaxed that's it I want you to imagine viewing your emotions as guides Guides that lead you to healthy choices and actions. Away from the path of emotional eating. And maybe you could visualize boredom as a bright signal. Urging you towards new challenges or goals that spark joy and fulfillment. And what if you feel a surge of energy when you're low? Interpreting it as a call for inspiration or a new adventure that enriches your life. See impatience not as frustration, but as an opportunity to shift your focus. Engaging in activities that bring you peace and satisfaction. And what if stress was a catalyst for action? Prioritizing those tasks or letting go of what no longer serves you. See yourself replacing the urge to eat with a drive to either accomplish or to be decisive. Interpret anxiety as a prompt to prepare and plan or to find peace in acceptance channeling your energies into solutions rather than snacks. Jump into that first person perspective and truly believe in the power of your emotions to fuel positive change. Steering you away from emotional eating and towards actions that enhance your well-being. In the past, you've been rewarding yourself from having that food. The dopamine comes from the gratification, but I want you to feel a deep sense of accomplishment with every healthy choice. Reinforcing your decision to use emotions as signals for constructive actions or constructive decisions. Trust that with each emotional cue, you're equipped with the insight to choose activities that fulfill and nourish you beyond the physical, as you accept the suggestion that when your emotional needs are being met, your appetite reduces. In the past, you've had an idea that somehow you need to feel full and allow your mind to update that that you have a desire to be fulfilled that fulfillment is infinitely more important than how full your stomach is imagine your life enriched by engaging in activities that address your emotional needs leaving no room or desire for emotional eating. Now see yourself like you're seeing a third person and visualize yourself 
Responding to feelings of boredom with creativity and curiosity. Exploring new hobbies or interests that captivate your mind. If there is a lack of stimulation or challenge in the workplace, feel that that is just a signal for you to increase the stimulation in different areas of your life. And when you feel low energy, see yourself invigorated by seeking inspiration from books, nature, art, rejuvenating your spirit without any need to turn to food. And maybe your talent for cooking can become more challenging by cooking foods that are delicious and healthy at the same time. Figuring out ways to meet your nutritional needs and feeling a wonderful feeling of accomplishment the dopamine that comes from doing something difficult. So maybe your dishes evolve and change to be a source of fulfillment and nutrition. At moments of impatience, picture yourself calmly redirecting your focus, finding serenity in Maybe meditation, exercise, learning something new, or a new hobby. I want you to see yourself confronting stress with a warrior's resolve, tackling tasks with efficiency, or see yourself consciously deciding to drop what's unnecessary, feeling lighter and more in control. Allow allow other people to play their games without needing to be a player in the game yourself. Feel that people can do what they do, knowing that you have the resources to make choices, actions and decisions with whatever serves your interests. See yourself when facing anxiety, taking the very strategic steps to prepare, or if preparation isn't possible, by embracing acceptance, finding strength in your ability to adapt and thrive, or release and let go. And I wonder what might happen if You believe that every emotion is useful in the right context and perhaps is a stepping stone to personal growth, guiding you to activities that make you feel accomplished and aligned with your goals and identity. Empower yourself with the knowledge that emotions are not for eating but for learning, acting and evolving into your very best self. And maybe part of the challenge could be how you get to be a role model for someone younger looking up at you. What unconscious lessons do you want them to learn as to how someone can deal with intense emotions. Reinforce your resolve to harness emotions as tools for problem solving, improving your life, seeing the quality of your experience improve with each wise decision you make. Jump back into that first person perspective and feel a wave of relief knowing that you do have the power to transform emotional energy into actions, the very actions that foster progress and personal fulfillment. Fulfillment is your new goal, not a full stomach. See the binary black and whites of the past as now shades of grey, 
you thrive in the nuance, the subtle decisions. It doesn't have to be all or nothing. You're at your best in the middle ground in between. And then see yourself concluding each day with gratitude for those emotional signals that guided you. It doesn't have to be all of nothing. Focus on tiny incremental progress, not perfection. Every tiny improvement, every pattern you break, every habit where you do something slightly different is a victory creating evolutionary change that will take the very version of you a year from now or two years from now to become a very different version of you. Imagine drifting into the future and seeing that version of you two years from now, seeing a wonderful positive transformation based on these tiny incremental positive changes. Now it's time to return to that hammock. Feel yourself in the hammock. There on that beach, there in the Maldives. Imagine leaving the hammock and walking down the beach towards the sea and feel the sensation of the water on your toes, on your feet, up to your ankle. And get a sense that your goal is fulfillment. And the way to emotional fulfillment isn't through food. It's through your goals, your actions, your decisions, and those tiny incremental victories and progress that can make each day a tiny bit better than the last. It's time to return to the present as you take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Feel like you're going backwards through the photo into your physical body. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, connect fully with the present moment. As I now count from 1 to 10 to awaken you, you will awaken feeling resourceful, feeling a sense that you now have a new game to play, a game of fulfillment. And that game is enhanced the more you listen to your emotions. Starting to count to awaken you. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. 